San Diego Prep Insiders, presented by Toyota Dealers of San Diego County. Welcome to another episode of San Diego Prep Insider. Sarah Chafee here, joined as always by Christian Pedersen, hanging out here today at La Jolla High School. We're going to be talking to some of the Vikings soccer players as they are off to a red hot start this season. But before we get to that, we got to check in with Tommy and Ty. TNT, where are you guys at? Thank you very much, Christian and Sarah. Tommy Morris, Ty Hines, TNT here at Canyon Crest Academy, where the Ravens are about to take on the Vista Panthers. That's right. It's going to be a great game. Lots of action already going on behind us right now, but Vista is in the top 10. Canyon Crest hopes to soon be in that top 10. But before we interview some players, Tommy, what's coming up? We got to go to our top recruit to check out another basketball player, and here it is. Top Recruit is brought to you by San Diego County Toyota Dealers. Hi, I'm Jake Gilliam. I'm a senior here at Torrey Pines, and I'm the center for the basketball team. Some of the life lessons I've learned from basketball are how to be a good leader and how to fight through adversity. When you're playing the game, a lot of things go wrong. You miss shots, calls don't go your way, bounces don't go your way. You gotta be resilient. It's the same thing in life. Things aren't gonna always go your way. You gotta be tough enough and strong enough to fight through that and figure out how to be the best version of yourself. When I go to school next year, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm looking for, but I'm looking for the right feel and the right fit coaches that are willing to work with me, and um, a school where I can get a great education while playing basketball. I don't necessarily model my game after anyone, but I take bits and pieces from games I watch and learn what's effective for different people and try and build all that into my game. Playing my last year of high school basketball, I'm just trying to take in every opportunity. You know, there's a lot of great memories, and as the year goes on, I want to remember everything that happens and enjoy every moment and uh, keep working hard and building to win a lot of games. Sarah, it's time now for Top Recruit, and I, I just I can't get over how these kids are legitimately going on to the next level and making a splash. We've seen it already with some from last year. We're going to see it again with these kids. It's also an opportunity for us to say that we watched them play way back in the day. Roll the tape. Top Recruit is brought to you by San Diego County Toyota Dealers. Hello, I'm Trevor McFeely, senior forward for El Camino Wildcats. Coming into my senior year, I put in a lot of work on the offensive end, just trying to find new ways to score for myself. Since I think I'm a solid defensive player, and somebody I modeled myself after is Draymond Green, just because how hard he works on defensive end, and he can tend to do a little bit of everything. I'm not the greatest shooter, but I think I can knock down shots when I need to, and just, I play like him, but without the dirtiness. <laughs> Um, in college, I want to study kinesiology and see where that can take me. Something forward I'm looking to is just the environment and how hard it's going to be to work and just the change from high school to college is going to be pretty fun, I think, and it's getting better every day. Four years at El Camino is a lot of defense and a lot of hard work. I mean, people look at us and think that just because we come on the court every day and it's easy, but people don't understand how many hours of work we put in. Some people don't know about my pregame ritual. I have the same music from my junior year. I haven't changed it. And my senior year, I kind of started wearing the same socks every single game. Just, I don't know. I feel like they're kind of lucky. Ty, those are a couple great athletes, but there's so many more great athletes here in San Diego playing other sports throughout the county. We've got to get to all of them. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit more athletic as we start interviewing more and more players. Because <laughs> sure, I feel less athletic because I can't do what these kids oh are doing. Oh my gosh, Tommy. Well, I'll give you a little bit of my athletic. <laughs> okay, good. Right, yeah, yeah, okay, good. Perfect. But uh, here's Christian with our watch list. Watch list brought to you by Corky's Pest Control. Maura Larkin from Cathedral Catholic. One of the most impressive offensive players in the county, Larkin is a dynamic and explosive player for the Dons who is nearly impossible for any defense to stop. Abby Keegan from Claremont, as an anchor for the Chieftains on offense and defense, Keegan is a versatile and explosive player who will be a key to Claremont making a run for a Central League title this season. Carly Morehouse from El Capitan. The junior lady Vaquero has become the foundation of a powerful offense this season that has made El Cap into one of the premier water polo teams in the county. 
Want more San Diego Prep Insider? Well, we have good news for you. You can log on to our website, sandiegoprepinsider.com. There's so much stuff on there that you can get lost for hours. One of the great segments you'll find on there is called Blast from the Past, where we check in with a former high school standout here succeeding at the next level. It's actually what we're going to get to right now. Let's roll the tape. This segment's brought to you by Sogo Trade. My name is Tylynn Carter. I went to Sarah High School in San Diego, California, and now I attend Cal State Bakersfield. Go Runners! This is some of our campus. Currently on my way to the gym because it's game day. Hi, Jerry. Game at two, and it's New Year's Eve. Cardo Center, where the magic happens. This is the gym. I made it, guys. Watching film. Like a group. Yeah. Now we're about to go eat Chick fil A. Starting the New Year's off the right way with our second practice of the day. It's Monday and conference starts on Saturday, the 7th. So we have two a days until then. Wish us luck. Go runners. From the best-selling brand of cars, trucks, and SUVs in Southern California come the biggest savings of the year. Toyota's clearance countdown is on. Now lease a versatile new 2016 RAV4 for just $219 a month. Or you can save thousands with zero APR for 60 months. And you get Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. We've got what it takes, San Diego. Toyota, let's go places. The sub above difference is daily, not shredded last night or baked yesterday afternoon. Good ingredients prepped fresh every day because that's what daily means. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Five Questions is brought to you by the San Diego Union Tribune. I'm here with Ryan Michaels, guard, Canyon Crest Academy, one of the stars here. And Ryan, this is one of the best seasons the Ravens have ever had. So what's it like having this historically good start? You know, it's been great uh, getting all these wins. Uh, started off my first three years and we've made a lot of big steps through the years. Uh, this year we found a group that really wants to get after it. Uh, we work hard, we enjoy what we do, we come in every day looking to get better and uh, it's been a real pleasure working with these other 10 on my team and overall it's just I hope we can keep moving forward as the season progresses. And what has caused that change? What is the thing that sparked this turnaround? You know uh, since my freshman year uh, our coaches have really uh, Put into the, they've really put in a, a lot of work with uh, getting after it on defense, offense, just overall working hard. We got out. They always preach to us. We got out work teams to beat them, and uh, I think this group has figured it out and it's just clicked. So Canyon Crest, one of the one of the few schools that does not have football. You're kind of like the Gonzaga of high school. Basketball is the main show. So what's it like being part of the show? Oh, uh, it's great. I mean, uh, obviously you miss out on the Friday night lights of football and the big atmosphere, but uh, you get more notoriety on campus, uh, obviously, with they're not being a football team and uh, this, the crowd more comes out when there's a Friday night game and it's, it's nice. So I got to ask you for some advice from the city of San Diego. You, you, your high school doesn't have football teams, so you're used to it. We just lost our football team, so how are we supposed to deal with this? What, what is your advice to the city of San Diego? You know, uh, it was hard for me personally. I was a big Chargers fan, but you just got to cope. Uh, 
I'm not going to root for them now that they moved to LA, but I mean, got to latch on to the Padres, I guess. That, that's the only option. So uh, that's the best I can I can say. There you go. Go for Iris. So, so you're talking about moving. You're going to be moving a little bit next year, too, because you're a senior. You've got a lot of college choices coming up. So what is that decision process looking like, and what are some of the things that you're looking for in a school? Uh, I've been talking to uh, a handful of D3 schools, and uh, I'm looking for a school that's going to set me up, a uh, good academic school with that can, I can play basketball at. Uh, that's what's ideal. Uh, I'm still deciding, so still not sure, but hopefully I can get that figured out soon. All right, thank you, Ryan, so much. Good luck with that decision. I know you make the right choice. Now we send it on over to Ty. Thank you, Tommy. I'm now joined by Torres Samuel, starting point guard for Vista, a top 25 team in the state of California. How does it feel to be top 25, first of all? Uh, it feels pretty good. We've worked extremely hard in the off season and you know my freshman year, sophomore year, leading up to this year. We just put in lots of hard work, and to see it paying off is amazing. But you know we haven't accomplished any of our goals yet, so we're just going to keep on working hard and trying to finish out our season strong. Now on the football field, it all, all you know everything's on the quarterback, but on the basketball court, everything's on the point guard. How much pressure do you feel to keep your team in the top 25 and hopefully move up that ladder? Um, I feel feel some pressure. It's a like I said, it's a huge honor being in the top 25, but I've got some really good teammates by my side, so I know that you know the, all the pressure is not really on me; it's on all of our team. But uh, like I said, I've got some really good teammates, and they really helped me out big time. Now you guys have obviously been having a great season, hence you're in the top 25, but you still have some big games on your schedule, including CIF and hopefully State. But let's talk about a rivalry. Who do you see as a rival to yourself? Technically, like RBV is our rival, but you know. They're, they're going to come to play and they really, they always play us close, but we know that um, we're a really good team and we know Mission Hills is a big time team, so they're going to be good. You know, El Camino's, you know, they've beaten us the past few years in the league and so, you know, just our, our whole league is packed right now, so every game in our league is a big game. There's not really one team that's our rival. So. Now, you're a junior and you've been on the varsity for three years. Who do you model your game after? Uh, I don't, I'm not too sure right now. I, I, I've always liked watching Chris Paul play, and I've always you know, liked him growing up, so I, I'd have to probably choose him. He's a, one of my favorite players. I want to thank you for your time, and good luck tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thanks, guys. I'm here joined by Jack Barone, center back for the La Jolla Vikings. Now, you guys are having a great season so far. You guys are undefeated. How do you plan on capitalizing on the momentum moving forward? So we're just going to capitalize it by keep doing the same things. Obviously, we're 9-0, so everything we've been doing is working for us. So we're going to keep doing the same. Next year is going to be an exciting year for you as you're going to an Ivy League school. You're going to Cornell. How did you ultimately decide on that school? So Cornell was always, so my dad went there, he played football there, and I've always wanted to go to that school. I've been back there a couple of times. I knew it was like where I was meant to be and end up, and I just pursued it with everything I had, and I ended up making an offer, and I committed. In your first two years of high school, you were injured, so you couldn't play, but then your junior year, you were able to come back, you were captain. Tell me a little bit about that transition and how you were able to be so successful so fast. So it, it all came down to like the players who, who were at the school already had been playing those last two years and developed like a sort of chemistry together and I just needed to get in there, join the chemistry. We built on that and ended up winning the CIF D4 championship. And is there anyone in particular you model your game after? I try to model my game after an old Italian defender named Paolo Maldini and one of his famous quotes was that if you have to make a tackle then you're in the wrong spot which is like you always need to have good positioning as a defender and I try to model that in my game. Thank you so much Jack for your time. We wish you the best of luck in the future. We're going to toss it now over to Christian. He's with one of your teammates. Christian, who do you have? Thank you very much, Sarah. I am joined by another one of the Vikings. This is Andrew Estrella, senior attack uh, midfielder. How are you doing today? Good, you? So let's get started into it. These Vikings, they are red hot. Came off a D4 title last year, one of the best teams in the state this year. Knowing all that, what kind of extra work did you put in coming into this season? Um, I've been playing club year round, so you know, I've just been playing with that. And we've been running, I've been running. And then with the team, we, with the high school team, we play from time to time, like during the summer or like 
yeah, mainly during the summer. So we just have fun throughout that, you know. So let's talk about you for a second. Who do you model yourself after? Uh, I model myself as uh, after um, Mezzo Ozil, you know. He plays for Arsenal and I really support that club. But he just has this style that is like, it's like lazy, but he likes to attack a lot. And I find myself in that way a little, but I mean, it works somehow. It definitely works because it led you guys, as I said, to the Division Four title last year, red hot start this season. For people that haven't been out to watch La Jolla High Soccer, though, what have they been missing out on? Uh, they've been missing out on a lot, actually, like a lot of goals. We've been playing well, honestly. I think this is the best year I've ever like played in. We have a great team. We've been scoring a lot, like our forwards, our wings, they're insane. You know, the whole team is just insane. I, I recommend everybody to come check us out. So for the remainder of the season, what's the game that these people got to come see? Uh, the people got to come watch the game versus Lincoln because, you know, we played, as you know, we played against them last year in the CIF final and it was 0-0, but I mean, honestly, I could have, I thought we could have beat them 3-0 easily, but, you know, that's just soccer, but I'm really looking forward to that game because we just want to show them who's boss. Well, Andrew, thank you very much for hanging out with us for a few minutes. Best of luck the rest of this season. You guys need to come out and check out this soccer team. They are absolutely a thrill to watch. So Sarah, we, we interview all these great athletes, but they're student athletes, and that's what's really important. And that's what a lot of these kids excel at to a really high degree. That's why we have the honor roll, which is our own form of the SDPI all academic team, which is really cool because like you mentioned, that stuff really does count. Let's see who's on it this episode. Honor roll is brought to you by Lolita's Restaurants. Colton Wynn from Torrey Pines High School has a 4.0 grade point average. The senior has wrestled for the Falcons all four years of high school. Next year he wants to further his education at a UC somewhere in California where he plans on majoring in accounting. In his spare time, he enjoys photography. Jennifer Wooten is a senior at Scripps Ranch High School. She has a 4.0 GPA and is interested in attending Cornell University, UC Davis, Cal Poly, or Colorado State next year. Alejandro Cohen plays soccer and tennis for San Diego Jewish Academy. He has a 4.3 GPA and is looking at attending USC, Babson College, or Emory. He's also involved in student government. Advice from a Pro is brought to you by Fix Auto. Uh, just be patient with that process. Go to a school where you think you'll thrive. It doesn't have to be a... Pac-10, UCLA type, or North Carolina. Just go somewhere where you'll play a lot of minutes. Um, obviously, with a campus life, is a good time because there's more life than just your sport. Uh, and being a college athlete, you have you have a lot of responsibility with studies and performing, and um, you have to have balance. So you got to go somewhere you can have fun and uh, make the best decision for you, not for anyone else, because you only get to go to college one time. The sub above difference is love. Bread that loves the juice, juice that loves the bread. Ah, yes. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Huh, I'll fix auto. The first words that should come to mind after an accident. Ants and spiders and other pests are out there loitering in your landscape. Later, later. Don't invite them in. Unfriend them instead by calling Corky's Pest Control. Oh. Corky stops the ants and spiders in your landscape before they come inside. Ah, ah, ah get out of here. Uh -oh. Don't give the ants and your plants a chance to advance. Don't let spiders become insiders. Corky's ultimate pest control service guarantees you won't have pests in your home. Call 1-800-901-1102. Corky's! Do you follow high school sports? The San Diego Union Tribune's free UT Preps app is the go-to source for your favorite high school sports teams. Get schedules, scores, standings, news, and more right on your phone. Follow your favorite high school team by sport. Share photos and videos right from the game. See rosters and player profiles complete with game-by-game -game statistics and receive push notifications for game updates. Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Lolita's. 
family owned and operated with over five decades of experience in the Mexican food business. Treat yourself to savory fish tacos, shrimp and carne asada fries, or indulge in a true authentic Mexican breakfast. Stop by one of six San Diego locations and experience the Lolita's family legacy, as well as handcrafted meals that are sure to satisfy. Fix Auto, the first words that should come to mind after an accident. Sarah, you watched the Rose Bowl, right? I did. I watched the Rose Bowl. San Diego, I'm assuming most of you watched the Rose Bowl also. What you might not have known, though, the kid that nailed that game-winning field goal, graduated from Cathedral, hashtag Roll Dons. We've got an interview with him. Sarah, what are we about to see? I sat down with Matt Bormeister, fresh off of his game-winning kick in the Rose Bowl and learned a little bit more about his story and how he got to that moment. Let's check out this episode's building character. I was super focused in that moment. For Matt Bormeister, it all started with a kick. The now USC football player didn't always know he wanted to be a kicker, but a leap of faith led him to a unique moment. It was intense, actually. I didn't really expect it to, to be like that. Realizing now like what it meant for, for the seniors and the coaches. And now he's yeah, celebrating his game-winning kick in the 2017 Rose Bowl, an unforgettable moment made possible by a single decision four years ago. Cathedral Catholic grad didn't gravitate to kicking in high school like his NFL father, but baseball was another story. And we ended up uh, winning two CIF uh, championships in a row there. It wasn't until after graduation that he gave kicking a try, telling his dad to meet him at La Jolla High School to test out his skills. He thought that uh, I had a shot. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing at the time, but um, it was something that obviously was more natural. Um, my dad saw that, and then uh, a few months after that, that's when I met uh, John Carney. Really, I wasn't expecting much, and he started kicking right away, and it was really good, and I was like, you sure you haven't been kicking much? Like, you didn't do this in high school? No, I'm a baseball player. It just kind of developed into a, a passion from there, and John and my dad make it easy to love it. Knowing the sport could earn him a ticket to college, Matt welcomed the challenge. Not taking long for him to win a kicking spot at Saddleback College, beating out multiple candidates along the way. I made the decision after, after watching it that I'd, I'd give it a shot, so uh, I guess one by one uh, uh, they fell off. <laughs> after his first season, Matt grew hungry for a new opportunity. He attended a USC specialist camp, walking in a kicker and leaving a Trojan. I went into that camp uh, only wanting a walk-on opportunity just to go to school to a place like that. Somehow they, they sat me down and said they wanted to offer me a scholarship. So that, that was a, a big moment for, for me and my parents and the whole family. So. And now he finds himself celebrating the kick of a lifetime. It's going to be one of the best moments of my life and it'll be something that is in history books and I, I guess I can't really mentally wrap my head around that, that that's what happened. And cherishing the single decision that led him there. Yeah, you know, I think I'm just a, an example of you should go for your dreams, I suppose. It's cliche, but if I didn't make that decision to kick a ball when I was 18 and a half, whatever I was, 19 years old, I wouldn't be anywhere. My life would be completely different. What's up guys, it is time for another game day. TNT here holding it down and I had to pop my collar for <laughs> you this You gotta one. look good. You yeah. gotta look good for game Showtime. day Showtime, that's right, Show game time. day. We got the Ravens and the Panthers right behind us right now competing on the court, playing hard. But we're more concerned about what's going on in the stands, going to the concession stands, parents, fans, everything. And the nachos. And Don't the, forget oh, the, the nachos. nachos. Of course, the nachos. <laughs> All right, were well, you ready to start <laughs> Yes, we're do it. You ready to go? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Game Day is brought to you by Jersey Mike's. Dude, 
I'm here with Hansing, part of the JV team. JV, how do you guys feel right now? Good. What have you learned from these guys I hear they're going to take when you when you make varsity eventually? Uh, intensity is a big one. Intensity? Yeah, yeah. Hey, did these guys get back here get pretty loud during the games during the varsity? Oh, yeah, games? yeah, yeah. Can we see it? Hey, can you guys get loud for a sec? You cheer for the team? No? Yeah. 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 All right, we're still working on it. We're still working to tie back to you. You're a senior, so this is it for you guys. It's my passion. I love this team since I was a sophomore. As a freshman, I didn't really come to many games, but ever since, I've been the biggest fan. I come out every Friday night, pouring my heart out for these boys. So I want to see how loud we can be in three, two, one. How loud can we be? Nervous out there shooting those shots. I was extremely nervous. What, what helped calm the nerves? Uh, knowing I'd win a lovely Starbucks gift card helped calm my nerves from lovely JV basketball coach Dustin Lackey. Are you gonna spend it all one, at one time, or are you gonna save for it sure, up? For sure. For what, sure. What, what, what are you gonna you spend it on? Um, I don't know. I rarely go to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe give it to mom. Yeah, I'll, definitely, yeah. mom. This one's for you. There you go. All right, it is time to hit the concession stand. We're just gonna pop in there, sneak up on them, and see how things are going. If they need a little bit of help from Ty Hines, let's see. And over here, who handles the money? Who handles the money? We got the money person in the house, so you make it rain. Yeah, it's you make it rain. It's everywhere. And why? Do, why do they put you in charge of the money? Because I'm the only responsible one here. Uh oh, uh oh, we're starting some problems. And what do you what do you recommend? What's the best thing here in the snack bar? Oh, the applesauce. Ooh, the applesauce. So, wow, wow! Look at the applesauce wall of fame. I'm gonna try to get on that wall of fame before we get out of here. Oh my god, that was an amazing wow. shot. Did you see that? Wow. wow. Okay, so hey, we gotta be out of here for game day though. Thank you so much for bringing these nachos. I really Any appreciate time. it. I was starving down here and you were really hooking me up. How's the applesauce? Well, now that I'm on the wall of fame, it's it's they're delicious. I wanna thank the, the ASB here. Well, while game day is over, that doesn't mean you gotta stop watching SDPI. You can always go to the website at sandyprepinsider.com. You can also find us on social media, right, Ty? That is right. So much fun here. So much fun on social media everywhere. This is what we do from game winners to applesauce wall of fame. Thank you guys for having us out. <laughs> That's right. So find us at SD Prep Insider on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everything, Snapchat, all over the place. Sarah and Christian, back to you. Well, that does it for our time here at La Jolla High School. We had fun kicking it with some of the soccer players. Very true. For Tommy Morris, Ty Hines, Sarah Chafee, I'm Christian Pedersen. Thank you very much for checking in with San Diego Prep Insider, and we'll see you next time, sports fans.